Hello to my YouTube family. Welcome back to another Shopify tutorial. So in this previous session, we are going to learn how to add dynamic tabs in Shopify. So let me show you an example. Uh, this is a website I developed recently. And uh, let me open any of these products. So this is product over there. And uh, yeah, this is product image slider. Yeah, here you guys can see these are the product tabs and uh, these tabs are showing data as per uh, like this is for product description and this is for spec specifications and and these tabs that is coming from uh, Metafields app so we will configure that as well and I will uh, let you know how you guys can do this so let's start okay so we are in our Shopify store now first of all before starting this today's session I would request to all of you please subscribe my youtube channel give me thumbs up and don't forget to uh, watch previous uh, tutorials available for Shopify like I have already showed how you guys can change a uh, cart icon how you guys can add category slider how you guys can add floating email icon so these are very useful tutorials people are liking and loving them and moreover there was a big issue of uh, custom font which i have solved using a very very small widget code so i will also add those things in the card card view of youtube okay so let's start this first session and uh, go ahead we will go for jquery ui jquery ui so i'm going to open this jquery ui so inside jquery ui uh, we will go for tabs okay so here you guys can see these are the tabs i used to let me open that website what was the name of this uh yeah this was the website so in this website you guys can see it's a different layout because i used css to shape them as per my requirement okay so this tutorial is not for the beginners this tutorial is for those who are already familiar with html css and javascript okay so this is the example and uh, here you guys can click on view source this is the source code so what i'm going to do i will click on these three dots i will click on edit code to open the code editor code editor is loading and now i will go for any product like this product i'm going to open this and i don't want to show description here i want to show description under this section so what i will do i will check there is product.json and the main product this would be definitely section so okay i used to develop a new section for this and here i'm going to put like a uh, p tabs or you guys can say product tabs so you can see my section has been added over there i will give a name to it product tabs okay and i will add presets into this the name of product tabs okay and now i need to copy this html these divs from here to there and then i need to put this script and jquery ui js and css yeah these three files i will link at the very top of this here and i can save this so now you can see uh, our whole code is implemented you can simply uh, download code from these links and upload to the files area of shopify files area is here and then you can link it with there okay i'm just uh, copying the source uh, to make the procedure faster okay so now i'm going towards only store and then i will click on customize okay it's loading after this i will click on any product any product then let me change the layout of this first let me make it a thumbnail carousel okay okay so after this i will click on add section and here i need to find 
product tabs here you can see product tabs yes and now I will scroll this to under product information yes above related products so now I will save this actually I haven't set any uh, condition of JavaScript or liquid uh, to show or to run JavaScript inside the code editor that's why you used to see uh, it was uh, like code broken like that because it didn't uh, uh, put any condition for uh, code editor okay so now let me refresh this nice so as you guys can see this is our job and working fine what I have to do next, I have to change this to the description. Then I can make it like a shipping policy. And here I can use terms of service. Okay. So this would be, uh, these are headings for our tabs. Let me save them to show you. Headings are saved. And now you will see, yeah okay it will take few few moments to update completely and uh, before updating let me add class page width because it's uh, full width and looking awkward so let me put page width class over there and i need to open that div as well and now i will save this and let's refresh it again nice it's looking so clean now and here you guys can see per description there is a tab of per description shipping policy terms of service so now we have to change content as per tab like which tab will active the below content should have to change like that tab so what we are going to do in first tab we need per description so what we will do we will use uh, object tag of shopify product dot description it will load per description over there if this product is having description it will be loaded over there nice here you guys can see nitrate jumper in a soft wool so this description is loaded over there successfully and then we need to put custom data for shipping policy we can put custom data if we need to add a specific page to it we can add a specific page for this as well and uh, yeah i'm going to make meta field and uh, by meta field you can put specifically uh, specify or specifically data as per the product like if you are going to give sizes or anything which is specific uh, specifically for product like uh, this product is having different size other product uh, is having different size so you guys can add meta fields for this so what i'm going to do i am going to remove this this text i will remove this as well okay and i will go back i will add an app with the name of uh, meta fields guru i think so yeah it will give us a complete a code editor sorry not code editor text editor layout a very unique uh, layout you will see let me open this meta fields guru yeah this one it will give us very clean and neat layout to add text to add the data so we able to show that in, into these tabs okay i'll click on add app this app will start installing in that uh, store so apps installation is in progress okay okay install app nice it has installed successfully so now i'm going to create a set which will work for all products i will create a set i will say that like uh, product tabs okay i will create this then i need to add the label for uh, this one like it is going to be shipping policy i will say shipping policy i will give the key like shipping something like this shipping or i will copy paste it over there then i need another meta field with the name of terms of service 
service. So I will say terms, terms over there. So these are two tabs I need to be uh, change data as per specific product. So then I need to put like uh, multi-line text, multi-line text. Yes. We'll save this. Then I will click on this. I need to copy co uh, copy liquid code uh, because this each meta field is having their own uh, specific uh, identity. So I will put for shipping policy this this is for shipping policy and uh, this liquid code will show terms of service data you can change shipping policy to like uh, product sizing then you can say like uh, uh, something more different specification specification okay so now i think it will be or it should have to be uh, available to show data as per each product so now what I need to do I will go to the products I will click on home I will click on products so here you guys can see black leather bag I need to put uh, some random data for this in per tabs like I will say uh, size size you can say large and here is specification it uh, this bag is built this bag is uh, you can say is available in black color like that then i will save this and after saving this i will create another meta field for another product like blue tech shadow i will click on per tabs then i need to define like a uh, I will say size then I will say small medium large extra large I want to make them bullets so what I will do I will choose bullets from here you can, can see bullets are available then I will say material sorry material and I will say this to be uh, leather yeah fine leather is fine then i will give bullet to it and i will save it okay so i added meta field for two products one black leather and second is blue tuxedo yeah so now what i need to do i will come here and i will say collections and all it will show me all products available so first one is this it's loading so description is there it's looking so good then you can see process in large this book is available in blue color now we need to check like blue text is having same details or different as we put so you will see oh nice it's showing different details okay so now you can see per tabs are working very fine so if you need to modify uh, this as per your requirement or as per this reference you need to uh, do some css implementation like i don't want the background color so what i will do i need to find it first so it is uh, located in uh, with, within this class I will click here and I will make it transparent I will make it transparent as well okay I will copy this CSS I will come here and at the very top of this not so much top uh, yeah, after this script I need to put style and here we will save this I don't need to recall this not to recall this it's fine now let me save this and let's refresh to make sure all these changes live or not not live yet okay no problem so what i'm going to do i will put important for this important important here yeah. then i will sorry then i need to put it over there as well and now let's refresh Mm, you can see uh, the background is not anymore after this i need to remove this uh, outer border as well i will inspect this this belongs to there and i don't need it at all 
I will copy this, then I will come here, I will paste it over there, then I need to put important for this. Okay, and I will save this. Okay, nice. Let me refresh it again. Nice. Now you can see uh, the outer border is not anymore. So then what we need else? We need the border for this description area and that's it. And we need to change the border radius and color of selected tab. So after this what I need to do, I will click on tabs. So here is tab panel. I'm going to put border one pixel solid. You can choose the color of border as per your need. Like I'm going to uh, choose gray. Or if you don't like the gray, you can click on this color and you can make it like that. Okay. I'll copy this, come here, then I will paste it over there. I don't need other properties at all. Then what I need, I need to change the selected tab color. So I will scroll. Here I can see I need this color to be red. Red. This is going to be red as well. Uh, not so much red. I need to choose this color. Okay, so now you can see selected tab color will like look like this. Okay, so I will copy this from here to here and then I need to paste it over there. Oh, what I have copied. I think I copied so much of CSS. Okay, I will copy this. Now I need to paste it over there. Okay, so we need only two things background and border this one and I will save this after this we need to change the, uh, remove the border radius because the top corners top left and right corners are rounded so what I will do I will use border radius 0 I think it's not working uh, let me try for this border radius 0 yeah now it is working perfect i'm going to copy this i will paste over there then i need to put border sorry border radius zero pixel uh oh not xb it should have to be px you can put px with zero or it isn't mandatory it is not mandatory if you are using only zero value so now you can see it's looking perfect as per the reference side this reference so it's looking same like that to make it more uh, similar you can give paddings or as etc etc as per you need and if you want to show accordions for mobile you can use accordion from here same method will repeat else i will create another tutorial for this like accordion yeah here you guys can see accordions i created accordions for mobile view and i created tabs for desktop view so here you guys can see this is accordion etc etc working fine so stay tuned for upcoming tutorials and i hope you guys will love this session and uh, i i need your support and uh, if you feel any problem you can comment over there i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible thank you have a good day bye bye